every leader uh, in a busy organization, whether it's a small nonprofit or a multi-billion dollar you know, global company, uh, is looking for an advantage. They're looking for new perspectives, new insights. They're, they're wanting to see around corners before they even get there. And if you can be one of the people that helps them to achieve that, then they will welcome your presence. Leaders and organizations are busier than they've ever been before. So how can you reach them? How can you get in front of them and create meaningful conversations? One of the biggest challenges that people are finding right now is that it's really hard to reach busy leaders because they have more people, more technology vying for their attention uh, than ever before. And so in order to cut through the noise, to cut through the clutter, to, to be heard, to be seen, to uh, go from being unknown to becoming known, you need to take a different approach. And unfortunately, what a lot of people doing, are doing these days is they're focusing on sales, on promotion. They're leading with, hey, here's what I have to offer and here's my product, here's my service, here's why you should buy from me. And most busy leaders and executives don't want that. They're tired of that. They're tired of being bombarded by sales messages and promotional um, you know, promotions that, that are coming their way. So in order for you to change that dynamic, to actually be seen as a trusted advisor, as an expert in your area, think about and focus on providing new ideas, new insights consistently to your ideal clients. Why? Because every leader uh, in a busy organization, whether it's a small nonprofit or a multi-billion dollar you know, global company, uh, is looking for an advantage. They're looking for new perspectives, new insights. They're, they're wanting to see around corners before they even get there. And if you can be one of the people that helps them to achieve that, then they will welcome your presence. They will want to have you on their team or, or part of their world or one of their trusted advisors. So in order for you to do that, first of all, Get very clear about what are the priorities that your ideal clients have? What is top of mind for them right now? What are they going through? And when you apply your unique insight, experience, perspective, um, you know, looking at the landscape and how it's changing, then you can start to share that with your ideal clients. You can bring that unique point of view. You can share that case study. You can um, warn them about potential dangers that they might not be seeing. And you can also open up their eyes to new opportunities that they have likely not considered before. And when you do that, then you cut through the noise, you cut through the clutter because you're different than everyone else who is just out there trying to promote what they have to offer, to you know, ram a sales message down their throat. And that's not what busy leaders want. They want new insights, they want new perspectives, new ideas, they want value coming from you. And so become that source of value. And when you do that, you approach it in a multi-channel perspective. Don't rely only on email or only on LinkedIn messages. Think about how you can pick up the phone. Think about how you can send a little video message. Think about how you can um, you know, send something even in the mail to them. Use multi-channel because that'll help you to get in front of your ideal clients consistently. And uh, you'll be seen, again, as that source, as that expert. You'll, you'll be going from you know, uh, invisible to visible. You'll be going from off their radar to on their radar, but you'll be doing it in a relevant way that they appreciate. Uh, they may not respond right away, that's okay but don't give up, keep getting in front of them, send them a best practice, send them a case study, share with them some new insights, changes of regulations, potential dangers, opportunities, do it in different formats, audio, video, print, you know, picking up the phone. And the more that you do that consistently in front of your ideal clients, they will start to know who you are. They will start to appreciate you and even like you, and they will start to trust you. That's how you cut through the clutter. That's how you move from being unknown to being known, to being respected, to be being seen as an authority and expert in your area. It doesn't happen overnight, but the sooner that you start, the sooner that you'll start seeing results in that area. If you want other insights, be sure to hit the subscribe button or follow or connect. Always uh, look forward to hearing from you.